Phillips. Now, meanwhile, the White House is dialing back its rhetoric ahead of the 2010 midterms. Now, on Sunday, propaganda minister Robert Gibbs floated the possibility that Democrats would, in fact, lose the House this November. Watch this. I think there's no doubt that there are a lot of seats that will be up, uh, a lot of contested seats. Uh, I think uh, people are going to have a choice to make in the fall. Um, but I think there's no doubt there are enough seats in play. Uh, that could cause Republicans to gain control. There's no doubt about that. All right, now clearly that prediction is part of an effort by the White House to lower expectations for the midterms. And as with anything that Mr. Gibbs says, it should be taken with a grain of salt. But speaking of Democrats losing control, Texas Congressman Ciro Rodriguez is in the hot seat today after shocking video of his behavior at a recent town hall event surfaced on the Internet. Take a look at this. If we had not done anything uh, in the next eight years based on CBO, Congressional Budget Oversight, it would have cost us $4.1 trillion. The CBO is already revising its numbers for right, Obama. If you will let me finish, otherwise, you know, you know if, if, if you're not willing to dial out the truth, then. Ma'am, don't, don't accuse me of not saying the truth. It's not appropriate to, to also determine either. You know, I'm not going to take any evil, okay? If you want to dialogue in, in a civil manner, but don't say that I'm not saying the truth. Ah, temper, temper. Now, a short time ago, Rodriguez released a statement apologizing for losing his temper at the event, but said that political operatives associated with his opponent's campaign were to blame for the exchange, not him. Here with reaction are former Democratic pollster, Fox News contributor Pat, Pat Cadell, and from the Wall Street Journal, John Fun. I guess the same thing holds for George Allen and Makaka. Oh, well, wait, it's the other guy's fault. It wasn't his, you know. Well, it was the operatives. But the, the, the interesting point, Sean, is it had to do with what? It had to do with spending. He had to do with the was, truth. He was $2 trillion light on the figure, and the woman corrected him. She, she actually was right. They, they were 13. And there's trillion. no evidence these women were actually not anything more than constituents of his. Yeah. No, they were not on any payroll. Well, in one sense, he made a mistake that a lot of Democrats, you know, are unwilling to make. They, he actually went out and met people. Oh, the way, these guys are hiding credit. in their uh, foxholes here. Did, I think this tape will convince a lot of Democrats to keep hiding. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's the problem. People are upset. Even Democrats are upset now with the spending and what's happening on the economic front. The problem with the Democratic base is it's in trouble because the jobs aren't there and we're not growing and th they're yeah. backing out. See, you've hit on something. Democrats, we read in the Washington Post last week, their, their big strategies, they're going to dig up dirt on Republicans. 38% of independents now, that's it. That's the, that's the support Obama gets. Democrats at the, at the governor's convention are livid because they know their chances in November are not very good. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. I am concerned, Robert Gibbs, that this is all a strategy to raise expectations that Republicans cannot meet come November. Well, they're going to try to scare the base to come out because they're going to say the boogeyman Republicans are going to take over. The problem is if you do too much of that, you dispirit the base and you have them it's, stay home. It's, it's very tricky, but the, he's doing exactly what I would do, which is say the truth, which is we have, we're facing losing try to motivate the base and also try to put pressure on the Republicans the people saying you have a choice the problem is that isn't the choice they're making right now when you asked about the negative things that's what we've been doing in campaigns that's what we've been doing in campaigns when the stakes aren't like they are now well, and, then, and it doesn't work and, right and, now people are saying do listen, you want what's going on or you don't and we're and Democrats now, are getting now, killed now, in an effort to energize their base we talked about this earlier with Governor Palin they're, they're, the NAACP is going to go out there, attack the Tea Party movement as racist, which I, maybe it'll have some impact on energizing them. It's all that is going to guarantee Sean, is that every conservative Sean, will vote. Look, what does the Tea Party say? The Tea Party says Obama's a big spender, he's too liberal, and some of them go so far as to say he's a socialist. Well, Stan Greenberg, who used to be Bill Clinton's pollster, took a poll. With James a Trump? third of Democrats say... He's a big spender. A third of Democrats say he's too liberal. Thirty percent say he's a socialist. Democrats. 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 By the way, I, I, so Democrats. these are not moderate Tea Party people. Moderate in their, Democrats but if you are but the, over half. 50, over fifty percent. Fifty-five percent of people in that poll say that that is the proper adjective for this president. Which, by the way, but little stun vindication. Me. Stun me. But I, I want to confess That's something. I have been saying what? I didn't think that the term had that much resonance with the American people. I was wrong.
This is this shocked me. This is yeah, devastating. You said Hannity was right. I just wanted to get you. On no, I never. I did not say that, Sean. Let's not go so far here. <laughs> well, I just don't want to know if you <laughs> voted for him because I can't get a straight answer out of you. Can but you're getting a straight answer on this, aren't you? All the, right, but, uh, but if 55 percent of the, look, if there's no jobs, he can't contain the. He show no leadership on the <laughs> oil spill, and 55 percent of the country thinks he's a socialist. I wouldn't want to be in this Look, position. What's 113. beginning to crack? What's beginning to crack for Democrats, and this is the crisis. This is why the governors are so upset by trying to move, for instance, on securing the Hispanic immigration base. Mm. Well, Hispanics are cracking on the economy right now. You're beginning to see the first cracks in his Hispanic support. You cannot. The Democrats cannot win with minority voters and with. Sean, a Democratic like governor, people, people a Democratic governor class, told the president after well the health care bill passed, okay, you dragged us through health care, it cost us a lot of support. The one thing we don't want you to do, don't drag us through immigration. And they did. What has Obama done? By suing Arizona, he's put immigration front and center and not in a favorable right, light for Obama. Guys, yeah. good to see you both. Good Appreciate it. Thanks. Let not your heart...